How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are walleye fishing. Uh, it's around noon, so as you guys all know, walleye fishing is delicious and I love fishing for walleyes. Today I'm using a green grub, as you can see here. Nothing crazy, nothing uh, special, right? I mean, I guess it is special. It catches walleyes. That's a moxie. I'll leave the links down below where you guys can get them. So I don't know how today's going to go, but we're going to try our best. See if we catch one or two walleyes for you guys. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys on this small river. I might hop around. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see you guys on the water. Alright, let's see what we got here. The water is slightly flooded. Not too bad. I haven't been here in a while. Like, it's been a long time. Oh, we got some. That's a big fish. Ah, uh, that's a buffalo. I think. That's what I said last time. I caught a giant walleye. Yeah, that's a buffalo. What the heck? What is this? Oh, what is this? I didn't even feel him hit it. Holy cow, dude. I am a fish snagger, guys. Holy cow. Pretty looking dude. Jeez. Right on the fin. Fish snagger. Ouch. Alright. Look in the water you go. Damn. Got one. That's a walleye. That's a walleye. Nice. There we go. That's a 15 inch right there. I know for a fact that's a 15 inch. So get the bump board real quick. Should be good. That's a 15 inch, guys. Right here. Flat. Past 15. 15 and a half. So it's a good fish right there. Whew, that was hard work. There we go. Another small guy. This guy's not gonna cut it for sure. Oh, he is skinny. No, he's not gonna cut it. He's definitely a 12 incher. Oh, at least we know we're catching them. <laughs> yep. 12 and a half. Go, guy. Off he goes. Go, go, go. I'll tell your friends for me. It's a good sign that they're here, you know. Slowly but surely. Whoa, that's a big perch. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, that's a big old perch. I just want to measure it for the heck of it. Let's see. That's a big perch. Dude, let go. Yeah. Okay, okay. Dude, that's a 10 inch perch right there. <laughs> oh, nice. The bucket, you go. Dang, I thought it was a freaking walleye. <laughs> I can hit my jig. Dude, freaking hit my jig, dude. Freak. Oh, jeez. I got something. Might be a buffalo. Yep, it's a buffalo.
It's a buffalo. Oh, whoa, I think it's a big walleye. Oh, it's a giant walleye. What the heck? All right, you gotta be careful. It's a big walleye. That's a big walleye. It's a real big walleye, guys. Holy sh... Dude, he freaking inhaled it. He inhaled it. He inhaled it. Gosh, gosh. Oh, he's not ready yet. He's not ready yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Oh my God, oh, my God. yes. Let's go. Let's go. We got the beast. We got the beast. Look at that. Am I recording? Yep. Look at that beast right there. Holy cow, dude. Oh. He wasn't going nowhere. There we go. Yeah, this is more than 15 guys. Holy jeez. 20 dude. So this is my board here is 22. It cuts off at 22. But at the very end here is 23, right? Holy cow, look at this. Look at that fish. Yes. Freaking giant right there. You see that? The size of my bump board. Let's go. Alright. Basically you just want to bleed them out because it's good it's good to bleed out fish get all that the blood out and everything just go through the throw here so i didn't show the other one but put it out in his misery just hit him in the head and then just gut him i'm not gutting but hit him in the head so i'm head down first then all the blood comes out you guys will see later how like all that plot stuff will just come out. And I'll see you guys back at home. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, my mic kind of snapped on me. So I'm just going to hold it to my mouth so you guys can hear me. But check this out. Once you bleed a fish, it was an hour drive. All that nasty gunk and black blood would just come out. And that's what you want. What I like to do, I like to put my fish in ice overnight. To purchase in here somewhere, but I'm going to let it sit for, what time is it? It's about 6 o'clock, so first thing in the morning, start filleting it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, welcome back, guys. So it's early in the morning. Um, the fish should be ready. It's been sitting there for at least 12 hours. Yeah. And I'm not going to show you guys, like, everything, because then YouTube will, like, you guys know how it goes. Yeah. Can't really do much. So, yeah, let's get to it. That's the fish. Show you guys. Big old walleye. Delicious. And I'm gonna scale it real quick and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So, it's all prepped now. It's a nice female, I think. Yeah, I think it's a female. But it's a nice walleye. I did scale it so it's nice and smooth, right? Nice and butter smooth. And um, I'm going to keep the skin on. And I'll explain why when I cook it. Uh, well, I'll just say it now. It's because I like the, what do you call it, like the taste of it. And I only do this once in a while. I don't do this often. I usually just fillet it and throw the skin away. But I just don't want this fish to go to waste. I'm going to keep the head. I'm going to deep fry the head. Keep the chest part. I'm going to disassemble that, cut the fins off. I'm going to keep as much as I can, pretty much. And just because this fish is so big and it's so um, special, you know, and I don't want to get, I, I just don't want to waste it, pretty much. So, and you guys are probably wondering why I'm not using a fillet knife. I just don't like fillet knife. It's just too flimsy for me. I like butcher knife. Though I can just cut and slide through and, you know, do what I got to do. So, uh, yeah, I can't show you guys how I, I'm going to cut it. I mean, I'll try to, but... I wouldn't be surprised if you two hit me up for it. So, yeah, here's the fish. It's a beautiful, big walleye. Oh, yeah. My scissors. 
I'm gonna cut the fins off, that way it can get between the details. And I'm working on getting a better angle, that way you guys can see me like, cut this fish, you know. Nice tail, right? Let's see if I can do it like an angle. Yeah, nothing is going to waste. I want to get it in good angle. I don't want to block you guys too much. This thing got a lot of fat. Holy cow. It's fatty. Whoa, it's a female, right? Holy smoke. Woo. It's a female. But. Like I so said, because I bled it out, there's like no blood within the organs. It's so clean. I'm just going to pull everything out and show you guys. Look at it real quick. Now, I think I can show this part, right? Yeah, so I took the organs out. This is not too bad. But this is the little air bubble thingy. And look how clean the meat is. Normally, if you don't bleed it out or put it in ice, then all this is still kind of pink. All right, just look how clean that is right there, guys. Let me hold it up for you guys. There you go. Look how white that meat is. The skin, at least. Look at the inside. So this is what I did. I got all that blood stuff out, right? I'm going to tell you more, obviously, when I cut it. But that's what you do. This is how I'm going to prep this walleye. I'm gonna cut this part here. Just like that. I'm actually going to keep this. This part right here, people throw this stuff away. Like, when you fillet it, people don't know about it. But this chest part right here, it is so meaty. Like, all this right here, that's all meat. Okay? I don't know if you guys can see that. But this right here is all meat. Like, don't throw this part away. People are crazy when they throw stuff away. There. My knife is really sharp. That's why I like this butcher knife. It's stiffer. It has more control. I don't like that soft stuff. Uh, that's just me. That real quick. There you go. And this is the head. Now we have a nice, look at that fillet. This is amazing. Like this whole thing right here can feed one, two, three, four portions, you know. So it's clean. I'm just going to, you know, scrape it for the heck of it. Just because I think I look cool doing this. Yep, it's all clean, nice and buttery. So, bones. So look at that, guys. Beautiful, beautiful fillet right there. Not fillet, but a piece of meat. I know it's kind of dark in here. You guys probably can't really see it, but let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Just look at how beautiful the meat is. It's amazing. Look at that. This whole thing right here. Like my mom will actually just broth this. Just throw it in a soup with a bunch of herb and like make a Thai dish out of it, but I'm not that fancy, so. Hi guys, so the meat is sitting in the sea salt, okay? I've done videos of this before in my past um, videos, and pretty much the sea salt will bring up all the slime, all the white cloudy stuff from the skin, from the meat. You can let it sit for 10, 15, 20 minutes, doesn't matter, it's up to you. I'm not that picky. I like the fish taste anyways but this right here will get rid of the fishy taste and it'll make the in a way it'll make the meat a little more like tender in a way where they don't fall off when you deep fry it i don't know if that make any sense but that's just from my experience maybe if you have a better or different method then feel free to comment down below but this is what i like to do and it's very simple it's very simple it's good it makes the fish tasty so try it out check it out and Leave your comments down below. And if I see more, sorry, and if I see more slime, like it feels very slimy. If there was a lot of slime or a lot of just stuff floating into like the surface of the water, I will do another round of sea salt and water. Like I'll let I'll let it sit in there for another 15, 10, 15 minutes. But in this case, this meat is crispy, like it's clean. This is the one that I like to use. It's it's good to me, you know, there's a lot of great like other stuff out there too, but um, this is going to be a simple deep fry. I'm not going to batter it with like hot sauce or any buttermilk or anything like that. Simply just 
toss it in a bag, throw this on there, and maybe add a little salt, add a little uh, black pepper, and it should be good to go. So in here, look at this fillet. Look at that. That's a nice portion right there. You throw this on the sandwich, pretty much, you know. Same with this guy. I just split this one in half, so look how clean that is. It's a clean meat. Alright, so for the moment of truth, um, this is what I got. Look how gold and crispy that is. That is so... I want to use so bad. I got myself some rice here too, right? You can't deep fry with no rice, man. I got my rice here. Remember the piece I was telling you guys about? Curled up like that. Just crack it off. Look at that. Look how flaky that is. Holy cow. Let me eat it in the mic. That is so good, dude. Here's the head. Oh, jeez. I know, it probably looks like hideous, but... That's what it looks like. Look at all that cheek. That meat right there. Peel that off. Woo! Look how crispy that is. Steaming crispy. Let me put some pepper on it. Got to, you just, you just got to, man. You got to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Some pepper. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna do this again. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The other side, right? Look at that. It's like I show you guys. It just peels right off like chip. And it's so crispy and crunchy too. Put some pepper on there. Y'all see that? Focus, focus. There you go. Oh my gosh. It's so tender. Mmm. I'm gonna take my time eating this. I just wanna show you guys the piece I was talking about. You guys know the chest part right there? This is the chest. Show you guys. Look at that. This is all meat, and people throw this stuff away. Oh, it's hot. They mean it's, it's cooked real good. Look how white that is. Gotta put pepper on there, man. Pepper's running out. There we go. If anything, this chest piece is like my favorite on flathead channels. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was fun making this. You know, it's fun looking for a walleye, prepping it, and getting it ready for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I'm definitely enjoying it right now. This is just, this is just so good. Like, wow, it's amazing. So then, I'll see you guys on the water.